Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate the bipartisan spirit in which you've conducted this hearing and the agenda that you put forward and, and your support for this legislation. And I rise in support uh, of my bill, H.R. 7314, Assessing She's Interference and Subversion Act, or the Axis Act. Uh, and Mr. Chairman, as you uh, explained, this legislation requires the Secretary of State to report on whether and how the People's Republic of China and the Chinese Communist Party have supported Russia's unprovoked invasion and full-scale war, brutal war, against Ukraine. In addition to sanctions evasion, the report requires information on actions undermining United States export controls, supporting Russia's military and intelligence agencies, including through non-sanctioned technology and other economic and technical support. Uh, I, would I would particularly like to thank my colleague, Representative Young Kim, for her co-sponsorship of my bill and work in this space through her bill, the Dictator Act, that particularly highlights China's assistance to Russia on sanctions evasion. Uh, Representative Kim has been a true leader on this issue and really was the first to jump out and identify Chinese assistance uh, to Russia in the aftermath of the invasion and how we need to monitor this very, very closely and prevent Russia from any sanctions evasion activities with the assistance of the People's Republic of China. But Mr. Chairman, my bill highlights the multiple ways that the PRC is helping Russia. And it's not just that China has refused to condemn Russia's invasion or that they spread Russia's disinformation. In just the last week, China's foreign minister, uh, Wang Wei, met with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in eastern China, where the CCP was hosting meetings on Afghanistan. During the meeting, uh, Wang said, both sides are more determined, uh, uh, Wang said, both sides are more determined to develop bilateral ties and are more confident in promoting cooperation in various fields. China is willing to work with Russia to take China Russian ties to a higher level in a new era under the guidance of the consensus reached by Xi and Putin. Before the invasion, we know that China and Russia were colluding on Russia's invasion so that Putin's unprovoked assault on Ukraine didn't take away from the attention of Xi's genocide Olympic Games. On February 4th of this year, China and Russia issued a 5,000-word statement saying that their, partner, that, that their partnership had, quote, no limits, unquote, and that Russia held off its invasion to appease China. Just days after the beginning of the invasion, the Kremlin-controlled energy company Gazprom signed a contract to begin work on a natural gas pipeline to China. If completed, the pipeline would deliver up to 1.8 trillion cubic feet of Russian natural gas each year to China via Mongolia. Since the beginning of the invasion, we have seen the international community come together to sanction Russia for its unprovoked assault on Ukraine. These actions, however, only go so far if communist China revives the Stalin-Mao alliance of the 20th century and actively props up the Russian economy and helps them circumvent international sanctions. We have reason to believe that that's happening, and we need the State Department to be on it, and we need the Congress to be informed so that we can prevent sanctions evasion activity. My legislation would bring to light the ways the CCP is undermining the work of the United States and the international community to bring an end to this conflict, to hold Vladimir Putin accountable for his genocide and his brutal war against the people of Ukraine. The American people deserve to know what, to know the ways that Xi's geno genocidal regime is assisting Vladimir Putin's genocidal regime and his war crimes. I urge my colleagues to support this legislation. I once again thank the chairman for his bipartisan cooperation on this legislation. My colleagues on both sides of the aisle, and a particular thanks to Representative Young Kim for her leadership on this issue. And with that, I yield back. The gentleman.